Hello, this is Martial Law News. Today I have some news about the Department of Defense, which has issued orders nationwide that police need to give back their grenade launchers, bayonets, and tanks. When you tell someone that their police department has bayonets, their immediate reaction would often be ridicule or denial. Why would the cops need bayonets, they ask? Exactly. Why do the cops need bayonets? Why do they need grenade launchers, 50 caliber rifles, Apache attack helicopters, camouflage uniforms, or tank-like vehicles? There is no good reason for the police to have this equipment, and yet they do. And how do they get this equipment? Well, they use the 1033 program, which was used to acquire these weapons of war. Now make no mistake, these are weapons of war. What this program did was allow police departments to get military grade equipment from Iraq and Afghanistan. That's right, the same equipment used to fight terrorists over in Iraq and Afghanistan is being used on American soil to police local neighborhoods. It is absolutely disgusting that the police have these equipment. Why do they have this surplus military hardware? Well, an answer could very well be that they are going to fight a war against their own citizens. And these actions over the last few years have been unchecked, and there has been zero public oversight. What this means is that any police department with 200 people, 400 people, they can write a letter to the DHS and request this equipment, and more often than not, they will get this equipment with zero government and public oversight. When, Ferguson, when the Ferguson riots happened, everybody in the world saw the images of these riots, of the looting and the burning, but we also saw it was the militarized US police force show its ugly face to the world. Now images of the militarized police in Ferguson show pictures of men wearing fully automatic, or well, they're carrying fully automatic weapons, they're wearing body armor, they're in camouflage fatigues. Now think about how silly that is. Why do they need camouflage fatigues in an urban environment? Now while these riots may not have been justified, the families of the people who conducted these riots, they asked the question, why do these police departments need such equipment? And the answer is obvious. They are getting ready for a nationwide event, a nationwide event which would warrant the use of this equipment. They need this equipment so they can enforce order. Now what order would they enforce? Well, if martial law is declared, or whatever PC term they decide to use, a state of emergency for example, they could use this equipment to fight against the patriots, against the people who would not let their country become a dictator. Now there has been a lot of backlash, a lot of backlash by patriots over this, and so far it's worked. The Department of Defense has asked these police departments to give back their equipment. Now will they give back their equipment? The answer is no, they will not. However, some will, and that is good, that is good news for us. Some police departments will give back some of their equipment, and that means if they do declare martial law, we will have a bigger advantage. Now I'm going to give you a list of what these police departments have. They have armored vehicles, weaponized aircraft, that's right, they have weaponized aircraft. Why do they need Apache helicopters? These police departments are better equipped than soldiers in Afghanistan and Iraq. Now they have caliber, 50 caliber firearms, equipment for those 50 caliber firearms maintenance. They have grenade launchers. That's right, folks. They have grenade launchers. I don't know why they have them, but I guess they need them for, quote, national security. Bayonets, which are large knives attached to a muzzle of a rifle, shotgun, long gun for the purpose of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Why do they need bayonets? Again, there is no good reason. They have camouflage uniforms, which is kind of woodland, desert camouflage patterns. This is just so disturbing, folks. 
If you want to learn more about this, go onto Google and Google these articles. Google the articles where people see this equipment and they report upon it. This has been Martial Law News. Thank you.